Yo, this is take two because I kept messing up on the first one. But I wanted this video to be about music. And music is very, to some people and to me, it's very important in my life because music is more than just the lyrics that you hear and it has messages inside of the music and so I've been I'm if you know me personally I listen to a lot of different types of music there's not really a genre that I don't like um genre I think it is but except I, I kind of don't really listen to country that much. It's just not my top choice. If it, if someone plays it, I'll listen to it, but I'm not going to listen to it on my own unless there's a specific song that I like. But anyway, um, music. Music today in 2020 or just anywhere from 2010 to now is drastically different than it was anywhere from the 50s, I feel like, until about the 1990s. And I say this because I've been listening to old people, older style of music like Queen and Pink Floyd and uh, George Michael and Linkin Park. I know Linkin Park is a little bit newer, but the uh, like what I've noticed... I mean, I've been listening to a lot of Queen and I've noticed that a lot of his music, a lot of their music, not just his, but their music is, I feel like that there's more talent involved with that type of music. And that, you know, it, it's because of technology. Technology has allowed music nowadays to become more technologically advanced than it was back in the day. And I remember in my very first video that I ever made on this channel, I talked about the radio. The radio is very taken for granted because people in the people everywhere probably in the world can listen to any type of music that's available on the radio pretty much for free. Like yeah, your view is giving them money or giving them revenue by you listening to them and by you listening to the ads that you don't even not really probably, probably paying attention to. It's the same thing with YouTube. You look up a YouTube video and you have to go through the stupid ad. But every, I think every time you listen to the, the ad, you, you are basically generating revenue for them. It's all about money. But anyway, music is, I mean, I love music. I listen to it daily. But I also do love my quiet time where I can just think and I don't have to have music. I don't have to have anything else. But... And I'm also a bass head. Like, I have subs in my car. It's not that big of a deal, but I definitely generate a lot of bass and a lot of people. Um, I don't think a lot of people like to hear it, especially at a red light. And I'm, I have my bass, you know, just blaring out at everyone. Like, I, just, I to me, I see, to me, um, I see music as my way of protesting. If I want to play loud music and have my bass blaring, I'm going to do it. I don't care what anybody else thinks. It's because it makes me happy. I don't care what other people want and what other people, oh, I just don't care. This is my way, as, as, as quiet as I am, To a lot of people know that I'm when I get in groups of people, I'm pretty quiet and I soak in everything because I like to hear and listen to things. And I think that's why I like playing the loud music and the bass is because feeling that there's there's a difference between hearing it in your ears like with headphones or with earpods or whatever versus feeling the bass in your body like it's just it's a totally different experience and um i really wanted to take this video into the perspective of i see it it's like every every genre is like it feels like back then was like you take queen versus imagine dragons yes i love imagine dragons but i also love queen more because the music was just more talented that you actually like it's like my dad said you actually had to have real talent nowadays you just can auto-tune everything like most i hate to say it most rappers do that crap and it's stupid 
like I'd say the early 90s to 2000s when Tupac and um, Biggie and all of them were around, they were way better at rap than the rap nowadays. The rap nowadays is just trash and it's all about making money. But, you know, the only rapper that I actually consistently like that's, he's more of a pop rapper is uh, Post Malone. I really dig his music a lot. But, you know, and even he pays his respects to people like Ozzy Osbourne and older people that have created music. Because I'm sure that he probably, you know, everyone listens to their own type of music. And it's just crazy how music can make you feel such a certain way in life. And it can bring happiness into your life. And, you know, excuse me. I mean, everyone at the gym listens to me. I listen to Sometimes I'll listen to EDM just to, if I'm running, you know, a mile, if I want that, you, 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 you know, if I want that EDM going, we, 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 you know, if I want that EDM going, then I'm going to listen to that because it's going to, um, it's the adrenaline rush. It's like driving. Sometimes I've noticed that, um, now I definitely recommend watching how fast you drive. Um, but sometimes when you're really feeling a song, it'll you know you won't realize it but you'll be speeding up because you're feeling the adrenaline from the song um i used to like more like kind of rock kind of music but i mean for me personally i listen to edm the most i listen to edm and pop and right now it's christmas time so i've been listening to some christmas songs and it's just the the takeaway for this video for me is that I've noticed that music in general is not as good as it used to be, and it's sad. And I don't—I don't feel like it's just going to get worse and worse. And um, you know, I feel for the people that miss the old talent. Like, you can imagine that. Like, you would think looking by looking at me, oh, you listen to all the new stuff. Yeah, I do, but. I don't appreciate it as much as I do older stuff because older stuff, there was more real talent in. So when you see these actors, show, you, you know, you see the voice and you see American Idol and, and it, it really, if you really think about it, it makes you appreciate that there is still real talent out there. And another big thing that I like is, um, um, I have to say, I like Christian music because secular music versus christian music is a lot different like if you're a spiritual person listening to a spiritual music is a lot different than listening to secular music but that's all i'm gonna say about that you take what you want from that but all i know is that spiritual music for me especially christian music like it's a different it has a whole different feeling than secular music but anyway I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later. Peace out.